Hey, what's going on guys? Today's workout is all about resistance band training. Within this routine, I'll be focusing on this, the Xeno Gym Pro Bench. I've been one of their pro trainers on their app for the last year. Let me tell you, this is a great piece of kit to work out at home, or if you're a personal trainer, train your clients at their house or on location. This workout, I'll be focusing on eight exercises addressing the chest, back, shoulders, biceps, and triceps. And before we begin, let me first break down and give you an overview of exactly what you get with the Sino Gym Pro Bench. Starting with the bench. This bench has three different incline levels and a flat. Storage capacity to put all of the bands, the bar, the handles, and the strap inside, and six different eyelets all around the bench, which as you'll see throughout this workout, allow us to adjust the bands at different setups, increasing or decreasing the resistance. With that being said, let's get started with the first exercise, and this is a bar chest press. So, I'm gonna drop the bench down, take our bar, which you can find on the Zero Gym website, it unscrews. Now, within this kind of resistance band training routine, I'll normally perform two or three rounds. Each exercise immediately followed by the next until all eight are completed. Then, for my second and third round, I'll increase the resistance. Now, working with weights such as dumbbells, you simply go up to the next weight. But with resistance bands, we've got a couple of ways that I can show you how to increase the resistance. One is how we set up on these eyelets here. So for the first exercise, I'm gonna loop our 30 pound resistance band around, lock that in, repeat that over the opposite side, and we double up on the resistance band effectively making this 30 pound resistance band twice that. Now we're starting from the chest much like we would in the gym performing a barbell press. Except with this, we get an increased amount of resistance the further away we press that bar. It also allows us to perform a little bit more tempo training. We can increase the speed of that tempo, keeping the resistance firmly on the chest. So for the first round, I'll keep that tempo just a one, one. One up, one down. Squeezing that chest at the top of the rep controlling it back down, making sure the bar doesn't touch on my chest. That's what we mean when we refer to keeping tension on the muscle. <sighs> Exercise number two, we're gonna focus on an incline and this time working some independent arm action. So first up, let's take that bench up. Three different inclines. This is our first notch up, so we don't wanna to go too high. That starts to involve the shoulders. This way, we keep it all focused on the upper chest. Got my handles, we're gonna stick with the same 30 pound resistance bands. This time, I'm gonna show you a different way how I set them up. Previously, I looped them both through one eye hook. This time, I'm gonna thread it. One locked in on the front of the bench, thread it through that rear eye hook and attach. This way, I'm making use of the full length of the resistance band, which I find useful if I'm doing full length arm movements, especially as we're a little bit higher up from that flat position. We're gonna alternate our left and right side, keeping tension on one arm in the upper position. Left. The benefit of this is we keep tension on that upright arm, holding the tension from the resistance band. Plus we can also alternate, bring both arms at the same time, bring one arm left and right, both arms together. So a few different ways that we can mix up the style of training, yet we're always keeping tension in the upper region of the chest. Get a few pulses in there right at the end. 
especially if you're doing it for time. Feeling that burn, that lactic acid build up in the chest. Whew. Two. One. Exercise three. This one is gonna be a seated row. We're gonna focus on the back for this one. A couple of different ways we can set the bench up. I'll be using the bar, and this time the 50 pound resistance handles. One version is to attach them with the bar, just like with the bench press. You perform barbell rows here. I'm gonna do a slightly different variation, perform seated bar rows. So, open up some room, take our 50 pound resistance bands. We're gonna move them through the front eye hooks here. Now, if I sit at the end of the bar, feet up against, I'm locking in that resistance. Get that full range of motion. Oh yeah. That feels like I'm moving some weight. So with this one, shoulders back, drive the elbows back, and focus on squeezing the shoulder blades and the center of your back together at the end of the rep. You can also change the grip from an overhand to an underhand, and with this one, I like to go a little bit more narrow. Elbows spread as we roll that bar in towards our abdomen. <sighs> Exhale on the effort. <sighs> you can see a little bit of leaning in as I lengthen out and stretch the back, but as I put it back towards me, I stop when my back is upright, shoulders pulled back, chest lifted up. Exercise four, another one for the back. This time, we're gonna go back to independent rows. For this one, I'll set the bench up. Go up to our second incline, allowing us the support for those rows. Same 50 pound resistance bands. And for this one, one of two options. I can either thread it through, which gives me a little bit more uh, greater range of motion. I think for this one, I'll just double up again. Got a shorter range of motion already being above the island there. So I call this the tripod position. One leg out. We got our left arm here to support. Make sure I've got a good range of motion there. Drive up with the elbow. Nice stretch at the bottom. And our focus here is to maximally engage, contract the muscles in our back at the top of the rep. That's why I'm pausing just briefly at the top, making sure I'm able to squeeze and really feel all of those muscles. This isn't about going through the motion and just rowing quickly like this. Involve the muscle, work it thoroughly, and really commit yourself to each set. Exercise five. This one is for the shoulders. We're gonna do an upright bar press. So, we've got our bar here. I'm gonna switch back to the 15 pound resistance bands. And this time, I'm gonna thread them from the front. And that's because of the starting height of V with the bar at shoulder height and at full arm length. I wanna make use of the resistance bands at their full length, but still keeping tension on the shoulder muscles throughout the four inch motion. So bands are threaded. Let's bring the bench to a vertical upright, supporting our back. This, and just step in, bring the bar up to our waist. Raise up to our shoulders. Elbows directly under our grip. That full stretch off the bands as we push that bar up. Slow in control. About a one second up, pause momentarily, lower back down. And as you'll feel, that tension is kept in the shoulder muscles throughout the full range of motion. We're not resting the bar at the bottom of the rep, the bands are still putting the bar down, we can use a different grip. So, 
We're gonna go from a wide overhand to much more of a narrow underhand grip and push up that way. A reverse grip, big focus on the elbows here, driving the elbows up directly under the wrist. Keep the knuckles upright, strong straight wrist. Oh, that's working. Let's get three more. Full range of motion. Keeping it vertical and in control the whole time. Exercise six, another one for the shoulders. And this time we're gonna really isolate on the rear part of the shoulder, the posterior deltoid. A lot of our chest and shoulder focused exercises typically work the front region, therefore leaving our rear to fall behind, but not on this exercise. We're gonna drop this down to our second incline position. I'm using the 15 pound resistance bands this time. Thread them through. There's one other way that I want to share with you how I make use of the bands and I think we'll have a look at that on our bicep exercise up next, how we'll use two resistance bands each side. So, with this one, pronated on the bench, chest forwards. Now I can bring my arms out in a kind of a Y formation, making use of the resistance top to bottom. With this one, you still want to make the effort originate from our elbow. So I'm not simply lifting it up with my hands like that. The driving force is coming out with my elbows. You can see the position and the angle I am. It's the rear shoulders which is having to do all the work here. So just think of creating a Y with the arms. Increase up, make sure the distance is still out to the side. Ooh, and you really feel that work the back of the shoulder. With chest, back, and shoulders worked, two exercises left in this round. In this one, we're gonna focus on biceps. Now, just like I said with our last exercise, I'm gonna use two bands each side. I've got 15 and 30 pound bands here. The 31, I'm gonna lock in on the back and thread through. A little bit longer distance, meaning the band is gonna be stretched out just that little bit further. So if you do the math, this is about a 90 pound resistance that we're performing bar holds on for the arms. Okay, arms locked in. Back into that tripod position, keeping our weight over the bar. Underhand grip, shoulder width. Big effort here. Oh yeah, that feels like 90. Bands are constantly putting me down. So I'm constantly fighting gravity and also working the eccentric, the lengthening phase of that muscle. And then another great way to perform the drop set. So we unhook the 15 pound resistance, keeping our 30s on, taking it from a 90 down to a 60. Of course, with this lighter weight now, be more effective with an overhand prone grip, bringing our forearms into play. <sighs> on to our eighth and final exercise, and this one is focused on the back of the arms, the triceps. For this, I'm using two of the 15 pound resistance bands, the handles, and bring our bench onto the second incline. Similar to all the other exercises we've done, I'm going to thread. bands like this. This time I'm going to loop them both through the rear eyelid, something we haven't done yet. And the reason for that is because of the position my arms are going to be in and the length of which I'm stretching out the bands. I'm going to keep the arms at a slight angle back as well, which helps keep the tension really locked in on the triceps. So, palms up. Arms are back, following the same line or angle as the bench. Extend, squeeze and flex hard up at the top. And even with those 15 pound resistance bands, we're activating them at full length. So, I'm feeling the tension at the top. It's also not lessening too much at the bottom, which 
which is a nice sort of range of motion, keeping that tension always on the triceps. Got about 15 reps here. We also want to make sure the elbows are kept in towards the head. We don't want to flare out and open the arms way too much. Nice little squeeze there. And there we have it, end of round one. Like I mentioned, add a second or third round, trying to increase the resistance or the very least change up the hand position or one or two other factors, or perform all of these exercises as straight sets, two or three sets, about 60 seconds rest in between, and again, try and increase the resistance. If your goal is strength and conditioning, otherwise just keep the tension on the muscle and minimize your rest times. There we have it, this is the Zeno Gym Pro Bench. I'll put all the information where to find it, follow them on Instagram, check out the app with yours truly, and many other great athletes and trainers on the Apple Store and Google Play. Thanks for watching. Whatever your workouts consist of, fully committed to them, train hard, I'll see you back here soon. Take care.